Hey there, Clashers. Welcome back. Willie here bringing you an NDL recap. In the Welter division, we have Onyx Orcas taking on CL Primus. Onyx Orcas coming out on top 66 to 65. So Welter division is Town Hall 10 through Town Hall 12 currently. And we will take a look at a few hits from each level. We are going to start off with some of the attacks from CL Primus. Starting off with number 13. Alright, so here we go, starting off with a Town Hall 11 Hog Rider Minor Attack. And he's starting off with a few troops around the edge, getting a few buildings taken out early. He is going to send the Queen Charge in over here in the west and take her in towards the uh, Clan Castle to get the CC lured and taken out. So, a Hidden Tesla pops up, he's going to put in a Baby Dragon, help make sure he pushes the Queen in the right direction. So there is actually a little gap in the walls there, now you can see it that the Archer, that the Archer Tower is down. So the queen can walk right through there and get the CC lured, but not until she gets a few more of these buildings on the outside first. So air defense goes down, mortar goes down, and then she's going to step up right into that CC radius. So we got a hound and a balloon coming out of the CC. Poison comes down, that helps take the balloon down and get the pups cleaned up once the hound pops. So rage spell is going to come down, that helps the queen work through that a little bit quicker and keep some of that damage off as the balloon is doing a little bit of work there. So the Hound has popped, the Pups are being cleaned up by the Queen, and the King is going to come in on the top side. That's going to finish this side of the funnel for the Hog Miner, and they will be able to run right down the middle of the base here as the King uh, gets these buildings taken out and taken out of the way. So here come the Hog Riders and the Miners now, and of course they're teamed up with the Warden there. He is going to get an early heal spell down over here, and the Hog Riders, they do find that Tornado Trap there. There's the heal spell. And he's got a lot of damage coming in on these troops. Sends the slammer in over here by the town hall, and it has some more hog riders in it. Of course, it's got the max level hog, so it will really help push through these defenses. So the king is just about to go down. He hit the warden's ability. That's going to help push them through the back end defenses. So he's still got a couple of wizard towers up, an inferno tower. They just took down the bomb tower over there. And he drops his last heal. He still has one more rage in the bag. He's going to put it over there by the Inferno Tower to help get that down a bit quicker. So, of course, the Queen's still up. She's still working around. The last of the defenses is just about to go down. So, down they go. Now it's just a matter of cleanup. And nice job picking up that 11v11 triple. Next up we have a Queen Charge Lalo coming in, so it starts off looking a bit like a Suicide Hero entry, but the healers are there and he's going to send in the Baby Dragon and some balloons over here and that's going to push the heroes up this way and then the King is going to clear everything out so that the Queen can head into the base. And he does have Earthquake spell, so this will be a Quad Quake Queen Charge here as the uh, base gets opened up with the Earthquakes. So the King hits his ability. And the queen's still fairly close, so he's holding on to those healers. But now that the, heal the queen is taking damage, the healers come in, they go right to the queen, and then she's going to turn back and head into the base. So she'll be able to take out the enemy queen. The rage spell is down. She's just barely hanging on, but she does have to burn her ability there. Finds the tornado trap, but the enemy queen is down. Now she's got the CC lured, so she's going to take care of them. And he will have to use another rage spell here, so there's the next rage spell. Getting through that Lava Hound, he drops the poison late, and that's to make sure that it's still active as the Lava Pups are there. So nicely done there, he drops in a minion. That's going to help clean up the pups around the healers, and the Queen can continue onward. So he's got a bit of a narrow path in here for the Lalo, which is starting to come in now. And it is backed up with the Warden, and they can work right up through this base towards the Eagle. So a haste spell is going to come down, push those balloons in a little bit quicker. He's got some balloons coming from this edge as well. The first hound is, or the second hound is about to pop, so both of the hounds are down already. There's the haste spell pushing those balloons through, and the stone slammer coming in up there by the laboratory. Of course, the slammer does have more balloons in it, max level balloons. There's the rage spell. That's going to push these couple of balloons over here to the uh, wizard tower while it's distracted. 
there's the warden's ability going to keep everything alive right there as those balloons move on to the eagle and work on getting it taken out so they just barely get it done the rest of the balloons coming in from the top side of the base of course he's got some minions and some wizards over here doing some cleanup the wizards do have to uh, deal with the king over there and the uh, balloons are dealing with some skeletons as well so they're working through the last few defenses left on the base. The queen is still going strong, so the queen charge is still going, and she will be working on cleanup here soon. I'm not sure why she's working on the wall there. She could go around the corner, but that's how the queen is. So the last defense is going down now, so it's just a matter of cleanup at this point. He does have a few archers up here with the minion working on some buildings, and the queen finally... Uh, did she go around? She didn't even open the wall. <laughs> but in any case, the queen is out helping with cleanup, and this is a very nice triple for C.L. Primus. Alright, switching sides now, we've got Akil coming in for Onyx Orcas. He's bringing that Queen Charge Hog Rider attack. So he will be starting the Queen off over here in the east, and she's going to be working her way in towards the enemy CC. So she will eventually work her way over there, get that CC lowered, and then she's to take out the queen over there as well. And while she's doing that, he's going to be sending in some troops down here at the south to get these buildings cleared up so that the queen is going in rather than around. So he's got a couple of wizards down, he's got the uh, baby dragon, and he's got the king over there. The king's actually going to help take care of the enemy king so the queen doesn't have to deal with that. So the queen's working her way in, town hall's just about to go down, and she's actually going to lure the CC here in just a bit. So there's the rage spell down. She steps up, takes out the expo. Here comes the enemy CC now. We got a dragon and a witch in there with a couple of archers, it looks like. Poison's going to make that a pretty easy thing to deal with. He sends in the stone slammer because the uh, inferno is actually targeting the healers. So he's trying to get the inferno to go down to the stone slammer so that the queen can continue her charge. But unfortunately, the tornado trap is going to keep the slammer from getting the inferno tower down before it takes out pretty much all of the healers. So one healer remains, she has to hit her ability. She's able to finish up the enemy king and take down the enemy queen though. The CC is down and now the hog raiders are going to start coming in from the top side. So some hog raiders did come out of the slammer, but the rest of them are coming in and they're going to get to that eagle fairly quickly. He does have the rage spell there. The rage was probably meant for the queen to continue charging in, but of course she lost the healers. So he improvised there, got the rage spell on the hog raiders and got through that eagle very quickly. So the last heal spell is down as they find that double giant bomb, but they do survive and they finish going through the uh, defenses. In the meantime, the queen is actually surviving. She's got her one healer and she's pushing right on through. So she's over here helping with cleanup. He's got some goblins and wizards on the top side with an archer over there. And this is a very nice 11 v 11 3 star for Onyx Orcas. Next up, we've got Son of Abyss coming in with the Drag Bat. And he's going to start off with the Queen on the top side, trying to get to that air defense, but it is going to be just out of range. She is not going to go for it up there, but at least she's going to get some of the buildings down. King is over here. He's just getting some of the buildings out of the way, creating that funnel so that he can send the dragons right on up into the base from the bottom side. So the King's getting those trash buildings out of the way. Uh, Queen's pretty much doing the same thing. She's going to have to hit her ability here soon after she works through that Dark Elixir storage. King hits his ability, and now the dragons are starting to come in from the bottom. So there's a Lava Hound. That's going to tank for the dragons as they start to move in and work through that Town Hall. And a Pekka's coming in over here. That's going to help funnel the dragons on this side and try and keep them inside the base. So the Town Hall goes down. Dragons move in and start heading towards that air defense just as the Lava, Pound, Lava Hound pops. And the Slammer's coming in from the southwest side. It's going to join up with the dragons and help them push through. The Warden's ability was used there, and it looks like he's got a couple of dragons headed in towards the Eagle. They got some Teslas there to work through first, as well as that Sweeper. So the Sweeper going that direction is down. Now he's got a Bat Bomb coming in on the top side. 
Very nicely done there. No splash damage to take those bats out. So they're going to keep on working through. The balloons out of the slammer are going to take down that last wizard tower. Now the only thing they have to deal with is a red bomb. And it is going to take out a huge chunk of those bats. But that cannon is the last defense on the base. He's still got dragons up. Still got balloons. Still has his P.E.K.K.A. and his ice golem. So lots of troops still on the field. Very nicely executed attack here for Onyx Orcas. Alright, some 10v10 action here. We have a phenomenal attack, and we will have a Queen Charge Lalo coming in. So starting off with a couple of troops on the top side here, uh, easily picking off a couple of buildings there. Now we've got the Slammer and the King coming in. So the Slammer's going to be able to work through some of these defenses, and he's going to drop a haste for the balloons that come out of the Slammer and get even more of those defenses down. So there's the pop. And there's the haste spell. Balloons moving through. They get an air defense. They get an inferno tower, a wizard tower. Just huge value for that stone slammer. The troops could move right on into there if he wanted them to. But he has other plans with his queen. The king's going to hit his ability, finish off that town hall, and move on through those buildings over there. And the queen is going to step up, get the healers, and start her charge into the base. So rage spells down. She's actually taking quite a bit of damage there from the archer towers and teslas. She's got to work through those skellies. And then she can step up and start taking those buildings out. He does have a jump for her, so she's going to go straight in to the enemy queen and the enemy CC. So once she works through that storage, she will jump in, take care of the enemy queen. She's going to need another rage spell, though. She gets pretty low on health, hits her ability. So she, has a, she doesn't use a rage spell, she uses her ability. There's the rage spell now. That's going to help get her through the CC troops. So the poison's down a little bit early, but that's to keep that balloon from doing a ton of damage. And it still catches the lava pups from the lava hound. So nicely done there. And a couple of minions in on the backside helps clear those pups out so the queen can continue onwards. Now he's got some nice pathing here for the Lalo to come in. And they can go basically in a straight line right, right through the base. So there's the lava hound and a couple of loons. Next the loons and lava hound are coming in from the side over here. There's the haste spell that's going to push those balloons in and get them moving through the base. So rage spells down, that's to push through that last inferno tower. So down it goes, sweepers down, the expos are distracted. This one up here is distracted on the queen, which works out nicely. Couple more balloons in from the outside. The last haste spell comes down, pushes them to that air defense and then over towards that wizard tower. So they don't target the wizard tower directly, but it is low in health and it goes down to some of the balloons dying. Now the expo is going to take out this balloon, but it's going to go back to the queen and the queen's going to take out the expo. So that's it for all the defenses. Now it's just clean up and a great attack here for 10v10. Alright, the last attack of this replay, we've got some 12v12 action. We've got Professor Cuddles coming in with that Yolo Drone uh, Lalo. So, starting off at the south here, we've got the heroes coming in. They're going to get that funnel and then work towards the town hall. So the king's in, the queen's in, they've got some help there from the baby dragon. And they're going to work that way. And then the Yolo Drone is going to come in from over here. So we'll see the slammer come down and an electro dragon to help get these buildings cleared out. So there's the Slammer and the E-Drag. The Slammer does find a Red Bomb there, no big deal. It's going to continue into the base and then pop fairly quickly. So there's the Poison spell down, that's going to help take care of the Baby Dragon out of the CC. There's the Rage and then the two clone spells. And he actually clones the Balloons out of the Clan Castle. Uh, not a huge deal though, they do find a Tornado Trap in there and that's going to hold things up just a little bit. But the Balloons still get quite a few things taken down. And the Electro Drag's still in the Rage spell. It's going to get a few more shots off before it goes down. So now the uh, Lava Hound's coming in with the Balloons. That air defense does go down, so the Lava Hound's going to travel through here, pick up some traps, more Balloons coming in along the northwest side of the base, and then the Haste Spells are going to help push them through. So there's the Warden. That's going to help give these Balloons their HP buff, and then he will have their ability to use. Of course, he doesn't have to deal with the Town Hall. The Queen did get that on the entry right before she went down. And there's the sweeper. The haste spell is going to push them to that eagle, get that taken down. 
Now the biggest thing they have to deal with is that Inferno Tower down here on the bottom side. But he's got a whole lot of balloons headed towards it. It goes down. He's got the Wizard Tower left for splash damage and then that is pretty much it. The Archer Tower is going to get a pop on that Lava Hound. Or actually the Red Bomb gets the pop on the Lava Hound. So he's got all that extra cleanup troop now. And he's got the minions over here, he's got Lava Pups, and this is a nice triple here for the win for Onyx Orcas. That's going to be it for this recap. It was a great effort by both teams, uh, nicely done. Anyone who wants to check out the No Dip League, I have a link to their Discord server down in the uh, description below. I also have a link to my Discord server if anybody would like to hop in there and check things out. If you like this video, be sure to give that thumbs up, and if you want to see more of these videos, be sure to click that subscribe button. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you all next time.